Haga! You just sit there and keep taunting me while I kill your ass. Alright, welcome everybody to Season 2 of Single Player in Shrouded. Uh, I uh, wasn't planning on necessarily doing a Season 2 until uh, we had a map update. But uh, if you've been following the multiplayer series, you'll know that we have um, been doing the dungeons. And I was so impressed by those dungeons that I wanted to, to tackle them um, in single player. Uh, they're also very, very fun, of course, to do in multiplayer, too. And the other thing that I want, want to do is that I want to give um, a, a mage build, a wizard build, a try in single player. I've been uh, doing a mage build in uh, on the multiplayer server, but, you know, every time we go out and we're doing combat, I've got tanks and healers and stuff with me, and I just want to, you know, see if I can give this a go with a most mostly purely mage build, or at least as close to purely mage build as possible, um, in single player, and, and see if we can get through the game uh, that way. Uh, just just for the challenge and, and all of that. So anyway, um, yeah, let's get started here. I um, I think, I, I mean, I'm not exactly sure how everything's going to turn out, um, but I'm not necessarily going to put a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears into building in the in season two. Um, you know, we, we've, we did that in season one with our villa, and we also have just an incredible building project going on in our multiplayer server uh, so in this playthrough I, I'd like to focus more on you know just on the combat and you know just trying out to the mage built uh, when it comes to reading stuff I did I read through pretty much everything in season one um, so I'm not going to do that but what I will do is when we come across lore you know um, just pause the screen if you want to read this stuff if you're actually new to enshrouded uh, but yeah, we're not going to go through and read all this stuff again, except for when we get to the new content. When we get to the dungeons, then we're going to uh, take a moment to stop and actually read through that and absorb, uh, you know, what's going on there. Um, I I absolutely love playing multiplayer with my friends and stuff, but the, the thing about multiplayer, at least for me, is it's really hard to, you know, kind of immerse yourself into the content and the story and stuff when you're playing with other people. Um, so, you know, we will be doing that um, on this character here in single player. Uh, okay, so now um, when I when I say we're gonna do uh, a pure mage build, I, I don't take that super liter literally. We're gonna do whatever we need to do to survive, but the plan is to spec into, you know, um, the wizard tree as much as possible, and you know, and play that as our main um, uh, our our main uh, role. Uh, what am I? Oh, class. Sorry. <laughs> My brain's not working this morning. Uh, our main class and, um, you know, use the mage stuff as much as possible and just see, you know, how we do on single player. So um, this game, you know, I, I beat it uh, by myself as an as a ranged character, as an archer um, and didn't really have any major trouble doing that. Um, very much, you know, enjoyed the game and stuff. And I also did quite a fair amount of melee um, in that first playthrough, too. So I was kind of more of a hybrid. Earlier on, I was, anyways. Once we kind of got more into the, towards the end game, then I really did get into uh, a ranged build, mostly. Um, so I, I feel like I've done enough of a melee, or at least I should say one-handed melee, you know, to, to feel like I've experienced, you know, what the game has to offer in regards to that. So this is just a little... um. Uh, limerick there you can pause the screen um and like i said i i want to give the the magic build a, a try at, by myself you know as a solo player and see if we can make a go at it and uh, i i think it's going to be more difficult um you know to to make this work but you know we'll uh we'll see what we can do and we'll have fun with it I mean, even if it does turn out to be a complete disaster oh well <laughs> we'll have some fun with it anyways uh, all right so let's break into here and we have another chest and I'm going to uh, do a couple quick things on my toolbar. Let's move that over. Um, put our melee weapon 
since we don't have we have to, we have to get some bones to get a wand and then we'll probably actually end up checking some of these torches as we go through okay so let's head on down here pick up another torch don't ask me why I just did <laughs> because it was there okay We got our first enemies here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's make sure we have stamina. Let's see if we can get a parry. There we go. And melee is uh, definitely fun too in this game. It's like really fun. But uh, you know, once we get it. Get a wand. Um, you know, we'll mostly be using that just because that's what I want to do with this character. Now, if we get, you know, into the game quite a ways and I'm just struggling like hell, you know, then we might change things up a little bit and maybe go more of a, a battle mage build. Uh, but we'll just see, you know, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's our beacon there. Um, and you know, I might I might change my mind a little bit on the on the building too. I mean, building is such a fun part of this game, and there's some really cool new blocks. Um, so one one idea that I did have, if we do decide you know to to get into building a little more substantially, is um, maybe doing you know like a wizard tower kind of kind of build. Um, and so I, I've got that kind of in my mind, but I haven't, you know, fully figured out how I would do that if if I if we go that route. Uh, so we'll we'll just see how it goes. But you know, for starters, we're gonna have a, a pretty basic base just so we have have a place to you know do all the stuff we need to do, and uh, then we'll just see, like I said, how things turn out from there. All right, we should be able to get some bones off of him. Yep. They changed the interface too, so I'm still kind of, you know, getting used to, to all of that. Uh, okay, so if we go to crafting, yeah, 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 we gotta do all that stuff. Get out of here. Okay, let's make our first wand, and I'm going to put, uh, I'm gonna put that in slot two. We'll probably keep a melee weapon in one at least for now. Um, until we can, let's see, that's cutting and piercing, that's cutting and blunt. Yeah, we'll just keep the axe there. Uh, until we we have a pretty good solid setup, you know, with wands and that sort of thing. Um, we also want to make ourselves a shield, which, flame altar, workbench, I think we need to do the workbench first. And, you know, we'll do the requisite regs to start with as well. Um, I th isn't there some more wolves up here for us to kill? Uh, hear him. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of wolves. Okay, we might need to get this out to block. Alright, so we got our first level. That's great. And our first skill point. Okay, so uh, let's loot these guys. Did it give us uh, any meat? It didn't. Okay. Let's try this one. Nope, no meat from that. Uh, we are going to want to be doing mushrooms as the mage build here. Here's another. The nice thing about the wand is it doesn't... Um, Oops, I didn't time that very well. Is it doesn't use, you know, stamina, so... Oh, good, we got some wolf meat there. That's great. Let's take... Uh, let's get our secondary bar set up. Um, so I usually like to put our buff foods kind of over here. We'll put our tools, our pick and our axe and that sort of thing in these slots when the time comes. Um, let's put our explosives down there. I could eat this now, but I want to cook it first because then it'll be more potent. But let's eat those. And that gives us the health regen. 
And there's a couple things in here we can loot. Or at least one thing. Um, okay. I'm not seeing anything up there. All right. We'll continue to pick these resources. And as I recall, there is a chest or something around the corner up here. Let's go check that out. Um, oh. Okay, no, I don't want to go that way. I think it's maybe back over here. Yeah, that stamina, or lack thereof, is going to be a thing. Uh, we can't completely ignore stamina either, you know. We just, we're going to have to put some points into it. Um, all right, where am I going here? That's where we just were. Maybe I wasn't far enough over. There's a little chest, uh, actually two chests, I think, just kind of around the corner over this way. But we might need to go a little further over. Yeah, okay, it's where this path is over here. Let's pick these mushrooms. So it'll be interesting, you know, to see how, how this goes uh, with, uh, with a solo mage build. Honey's going to be useful to us early on just for quick stamina boost. All right, so we got a, some lore there. Go ahead and pause the screen and read that if you want to. And then up here, I think, is a chest. Yes. And hey, we got our first health potion. Okay, let's put that here. And like I said, I'm going to ditch all these, uh, or most of these torches. Get that honey. Okay, let's go um, set down the flame altar and get that done. We're going to need to pick up some stones for that. Oh, we got another wolf. Okay. And more bones. Grab these shrooms. Yeah, I know, you're tired. Uh, one thing I'm not planning on doing is having whatever ends up being our main base in the in the new er newbie area here. Because we did that in the last episode, so... We're definitely going to use a, di a different location. And I have some ideas about that, too. But, again, I don't want to really focus, at least not early on, on what we're going to do for a base build. I want to be more focused on learning the class and, and getting good with it. So, Okay, so let's make our flame altar here. And then... Um, there it is right there. Okay, switch to that toolbar. And let's just put it... Get it over here a little more so it's not quite all the way up on that hill. There we go. Commune with the flame. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it wants us to go get the blacksmith. Um, also, we're going to need these things to strengthen our first flame. We want to do that as soon as possible just because it gives us, you know, uh, several benefits. Uh, actually, I guess for those of you who may be new, very new to this game, um, the benefits include uh, two, uh, four altars instead of two in the world, um, the ability to go into higher level shroud areas, and six minutes instead of five minutes in the shroud. So if you're not familiar, oh, oh and also one to each of our bonuses, our attribute bonuses, like your health and your magic and that sort of thing. Um, for those of you who don't know, when you go into the Shroud, you only have, uh, at the start, five minutes. And if you don't get out of the Shroud in five minutes, it'll kill you. Uh, so that's what that's all about. So it's really important to strengthen the flame when you have a chance. <clears throat> 
I would imagine most of you guys watching me play this have already, you know, are already familiar with all that, but there's always usually a few people who are seeing it for the first time. So, well, you know, this is, isn't a tutorial by any stretch of the imagination, but we'll, you know, we'll give, we'll explain some of the basic stuff as we go along. Okay. Now, uh, let's make ourselves a workbench, and we're going to also run over here and get some water from the well that's over here. And we can take advantage, too, of the fireplace that's over here. Not that that's a big deal to make. Get that stamina back. All right, so let's get water. Water is its own buff food in the early game. And it's nice that we have a, a well of it nearby here. Okay. Now, if we go over here, we have a fireplace, and there's also some more food that we could collect. And here's some lore. Go ahead and pause the screen if you need to. And a little more water. Pick up this wood and collect the meat. All right, so what we're going to do is put the wolf meat here in the, well, what looks like a chicken, chicken leg, and the mushrooms there, and the corn. Okay, let's do some cooking. Uh, there we go. I was gonna say, what happened to my toolbar? This is uh, this is gonna take me a hot minute to to cook all this stuff. So I'll bring you guys back when we're done. Okay, so that should get all of our food cooked. Let's um, we only have one of those so far. Uh, let's keep that up there. I cooked the corn just because I could. Um, but strength's not going to be particularly... Well, it could be useful to us early on, I suppose. We'll see. Um, let's put... Yeah, we'll put that there. Uh, I want the health potion up there. And let's do the water there. And the berries underneath the health potion. I like my uh, toolbar organized. I think we'll put the honey there for quick use. And we'll put the... Mushrooms down here. This increases our intelligence, which I believe increases our our damage. Um, and then the other magic uh, stat, not intelligence, but in, uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head. It increases our mana pool. So, yeah. Okay. These give us health regeneration. This gives us endurance and stamina. This gives us constitution. So, yeah, endurance and stamina... And constitution is health. And we want to use the, the wolf meat more than this if possible just because it gives us two instead of one. Uh, all right. I'm going to... Uh, all right. Well, hang on to that for the moment, I suppose. And it's starting to get dark, so we might as well sleep, which we can do right here. And looks like it's... Not quite dark enough. Oh, there we go. Okay. And that way it'll become morning quickly for us. Very good. Now, next thing we want to do is build ourselves a workbench. So we need string and wood logs. We make string from plant fiber. Let's make the uh, make the bench. We also are going to need a construction hammer, so let's do that. Um... We need an axe, so we need more string. And we need a pickaxe, so we need more string. And we want a campfire over there. We don't need a torch. A staff. Yeah, we're going to want a staff. Thing is, though, is um, the staff isn't going to do us a whole lot of good until we get, start getting charges. So we might hold off on that. And we're also going to want to make some clothes. Okay, here, let's do this. Let's go back to our our uh, flame altar, and we'll set the workbench down. And then I got to do just a little bit of gathering to 
get all the stuff we need before we head down into the into the shroud. Let's grab these. And we'll get some of that. There's another wolf. Very good. Okay. Lots of things to gather. Let's get back over to our altar here. And we want to make the workbench, which is three strings and some wood locks. Okay, so what we got to do is let's put our axe there and our pickaxe there. Um, we made the workbench, so let's set it down. And we'll rotate it this way so the vise is pointing out. Not that that really matters, but... Okay, the workbench, <clears throat> excuse me, the workbench will also uh, repair everything. Now, I want, um, we want to get the glider and the grappling hook ASAP. Storage, and we want to make some storage, too. Where do I, uh, where do I make the shield? Do I have the, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to want to make one of these. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to gather up materials to make ourselves a shield. Um, a set of ragged armor, because it's better than nothing. And, um, and, and some storage. I think we'll start with those things. All right, let's do it. guys uh so we have uh, all of the stuff that i wanted to make uh, 
We got our storage chest. This just has crafting material. This one has food stuff in it, and this one has extra equipment. Uh, at the moment, we have all of our uh, cloth armor on, and uh, we have our shield. I made a bow. I'm not planning on using the bow for combat uh, much, if at all. I mostly have it, you know, for traps when we have to, you know, hit buttons from range, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, I think we're we're ready to go. Um, go get our blacksmith. And uh, along the way, we want to here. Let's actually go back over here. Uh, we want to make sure we're grabbing some shroud wood. I've got a little bit of fur already and shroud spores and metal scraps because we want to get the grappling hook and the glider ASAP. Um, and it is actually starting to get dark too. So maybe what I'll do is, oh, we need to, uh, we need to take a look at our points too. We have two points. Um, and again, I want to spec into the wizard tree. Spirit. Yeah, spirit is what increases mana and intelligence increases magic damage. But we really probably ought to get double jump first. And I mean, ultimately, I'd like to get a dessert stomach, but that's going to be a ways off. So why don't we... Um, why don't we get to double jump first before we do anything else? And then as soon as we hit double jump, then we're going to move down to here. Uh, and we're going to go to blink because these things will help us in our build anyways. Get blink and maybe even the two sub things of blink. Uh, and then we really start going into the wizard tree. That's, that's the tentative plan anyways at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and give ourselves a point in endurance. Um, and... Runner, we can't do until we get um, another point. So, yeah, since it's getting dark, I think what I'll do is I'll just wait uh, till morning before we actually set out. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm just going to wait over here by the, uh, by the bed here because it's just about time to sleep. Maybe see if I can get some scrap metal while I'm waiting, actually. Okay, I'm back at the at our little camp here. It occurred to me that it probably isn't doing us any good to buff intelligence until we start using a staff, um, because I don't believe. Well, I don't know if this is affected by intelligence or not. Um, using the wand, I'm not. I guess I'm not sure about that. If it is, we should probably take that since a wand is kind of our main weapon right at the moment. Um, but let's put, let's put this stuff in here and I think we're pretty much ready to take off. So we're going to want to use, um, well, we're, we're going to want that, the wolf meat for the health and we're going to want the water for the stamina and the berries for the health regen uh, which it looks like we don't quite have uh, enough space for that okay we'll figure it out so the goal is to uh, go into the shroud get some shroud wood get some shroud spores and uh, go rescue the blacksmith and then when we come back we should be able to make our glider and our grappling hook Let's see if we can get that all knocked out before the end of our first episode here. Here's a note. Pause the screen if you want to read it. And some arrows. Okay, let's go. I know I could break this stuff for uh, scrap metal, but I'll, I'll kind of worry about that on the way back. Another torch, which we don't want. Um, some flint arrows and bandage. That's good. And pause the screen if you want to read that. Okay, let's go. Down into the shroud. Um, we're going to 
want some shroud juice. Shroud liquid. And let's cut this tree here. I don't remember how many uh, shroud wood it said we needed, but we'll figure it out. These guys will give us cloth and shroud spores. Probably get a lot of those things from taking this down, but again, uh, I, I don't want to bog myself down with too much loot on the way there. We can loot on the way back if we need to. We will check this though, because we need those spores. All right, don't think there's anything to read in there. Let's move this way. Probably need to get a few more pieces of shroud wood. Okay, let's wait for our stamina to come back. I think we're gonna take, uh, yeah, we're gonna take one of those. Alright, we got a bad guy up on the bridge to take out. And he might drop us some um scrap metal. There we go. Uh there are a couple things on the bridge we could loot, but again, let's not worry about that right at the moment. Let's head on up the hill here. We need to take um yeah let's take another water oh no we have that what was it uh, meat water oh right those berries don't last very long I forgot about that okay yeah they do not last long at all okay we're gonna have three guys I think to kill over here Frost damage is good against these scavengers. It's trying to hit the explosive there. And we got a repair bench. Let's also loot the scrap metal. Yeah, we should get enough scrap metal off of these guys to do our um our uh, glider or grappling hook, I mean. And pause the screen to read that. We have a chest, I believe, up here. And some more lore. Explosive powder balls. Okay, let's go on in here. We'll have a secret chest to get and our blacksmith. And a dude to kill. Haga! Yeah, you just sit there and keep taunting me while I kill your ass. Okay, read that. Secret uh, room here. The silver chest. Ah, oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Though we can make uh, we can make a lockpick. Rusty sword. Is that better than our axe? 11 damage and... Oh, did I forget to loot, loot it? I think I did. Okay. 
11 damage. Yeah, so not really better than what we what we have. I mean, actually, it, it is because we could put poison damage on it. So I suppose we'll hang on to it and we'll salvage that. Okay, let's get our blacksmith. Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Okay. All right. Um. So we're going to go back down. Uh, actually, before we go through the shroud, there's a flame altar around the corner here. Which will give us our first spark, which we need for upgrading our flame. So let's grab that, and then we'll head back through the shroud. Go home, see if we can make our grappling hook, our glider, and upgrade our flame. There we go. Uh, we also have some honey we can loot there. And a little bit of wax. We'll hit that village uh, in the next episode. and It's a good place to farm scrap metal. Get some more XP going. Oh man, I just keep running myself out of stamina. Weren't we supposed to get attacked by bees over here? Maybe I didn't get close enough. Yeah, there they are. We'll have to cut this tree down to get all of the honey from here. Okay, read that note. Gonna replenish our water. Health is good. Um, let's go ahead and take a cooked mushroom. Uh, again, I'm not sure if that affects our wand damage or not. But, uh, We'll assume it does at the moment until we find out otherwise. Gonna pick a little bit more shroud juice here. Because we need that for one or both of our glider and our grappling hook. And let's hit this tree. Okay, we're gonna stop here and see if we can pick up a little bit more scrap metal. Take that to renew our shroud time. Okay, I think we have enough stuff to make our glider and our grappling hook. All right, commune with the flame. Craft the summoning staff. go. Alright, that's in four. Before we bring the blacksmith in, though, he's going to need shelter for us to fully utilize him. So let's just make a real simple, and I do mean simple, um, hut here for that purpose. Wait, oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, where's all my wood? Enter building mode. Select the shape you want to build with. Yeah, yeah. We know all that stuff. Okay, um, hold down Alt. I want to use this. Okay, why is that red? Oh, we got to craft. Oh, yeah, right. I'm sorry. We got to craft the craft of the blocks first. I forgot about that. All right, so let's just do rough wood block. Go. 
And again, for, for the moment anyways, I'm totally not going to put a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this base. We'll make something a little nicer later, but for now it's just going to be something to get us started. Okay, we want to go to walls. We'll do a door here. And a door here. And then flip to walls. Let's make this a window and turn it around. Put one there, one there, and then we'll just fill in. Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Go here and grab these. That's what we want. All right, and then for the roof, What do we... Oh, we need to make roof blocks, right? Um, let's make those out of... Grass. So, plant fiber roof block. Let's see if that's enough. doorways in the wrong spot. Just realize that. We want to go, yeah, we want to go here. Turn it this way and pull it back. There we go. Uh, okay. We're going to have... What is this? That's... This is what we want here. Okay, so turn it this way. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't quite fit, does it? <laughs> um, yeah, this is what we want. Okay. For some reason, it didn't look like that was working right at first. Nope. Put that there. there. Then we want to go back to the wood blocks and grab the two triangle pieces. Put that around this way. And we want to craft a couple of doors. Which we do right here. Wait, do we do the door in our own inventory? X. This, oh, here we go. I Yeah, that's right. We're going to need a little more wood. All right. Let's make uh, two doors. Crude wood door. Uh, I don't want to use metal scraps right now for that. We have higher priorities for metal scraps. All right, we'll put this right here. That one can go there. That one can go there, and we're good. Okay, let's bring in our blacksmith. And we'll just stick him in the corner for the moment. Uh, right. Yeah, right there. There we go. Hey! hey. What's up, Oswald? Okay, crafting first gear. So he'll give us, uh... A mission to go get some stuff for Scrappy Sword, Spike Club, that kind of thing, excuse me. And then Cleansing Fire.
tells us about doing elixir wells, which we will be doing soon. Okay. Um, and well rested. I think he's just going to tell us to, yeah, get our rested buff before we go out and do stuff. Uh, speaking of which, we should... Um, well, before we do anything with him, um, I want to... Not enough free space. What the hell does that mean? Um, I want to get our glider and our grappling hook. We need some more shroud spores for that. We have we have enough. Look at that. Oh, now we're already missing string. Uh, looks like we're going to need to make some more string, which we can do. I'm going to just turn all of that into string. Okay. Equip. And equip. Excellent. All right. Last thing I want to do before we wrap up first episode here is see if we can upgrade our flame. And then we're going to try and fast track Balthazar because he's he's the mage guy. Um. It's going to be probably going to be kind of challenging because he's in a little bit harder place to get to, but that's what we need to do. Okay, so we need four bones and five red mushrooms. Uh, there we go for those and for bones. There we go for those. Okay, let's upgrade our flame. Or strengthen it, rather. Oh, shit, five animal fur. Um, that I'm going to have to farm because we're gonna, I'm also going to have the blacksmith make us fur armor until we can get to the mage stuff. Here we go. Woot woot. Okay, so we can put down four altars, last a little bit longer in the shroud, and access level two shroud. Okay, that's the flame god or whatever talking to us. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up our first episode here. And well, you're still not done talking to us? <laughs> yeah, Ancient ob ob Obelisks. What that does is it opens up a uh, story of rot and fire. Fire gives us more flame altars, and rot gives us... I think it opens up uh, shroud roots. Yeah, as I recall. So we'll, we will definitely be doing that as we go along. Okay, so yeah, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our very first mage episode, our wizard episode. I think we'll call this the wizard series here in season two of Enshrouded Single Player. Uh, looking forward to this adventure. Hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.